Hello, yeah. Argent Dawn, and welcome to Ratchet Radio. Today we've got the hosts of, well, who, who have we got? Who have we got, guys? Who have we got? Hi, Sarah Thorlight Cross over here. And uh, Ed um, Sir Dawn. Yeah. He's standing in for Andrigo. Sadly, Andrigo's had a bit of emergency, so can't be with us for today. Like John, he broke his balls. Uh, yeah, Vincent sadly can't be with us today either. Because <laughs> he broke his balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> So we've um, decided to go bring in someone who's hosting a major event for the server and someone who I've been constantly getting bugged by for the last week and a bit to mention his thing. So please welcome Nazgil, if I ever pronounced that correctly. Yep, it's pronounced correctly. Hello. Woo! Not, not to be confused with a Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the two Nazgul. different things. Or Nazgrel. Or Nazgrel, we all Oh, yeah. Which is build water. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a terrifying. That's a terrifying thought. No wonder he wears a black hat. It's, 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 yeah, I have to um, adjust this, I suppose. Mm. Okay. Well, so what you, what's the order of business tonight? If you didn't get my list earlier, it's starting with you with fucking horde. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is. I see. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to do this. Q intro now. Well, the gig's spinning, and that means we're live. Welcome, scrubs, to Ratchet Radio, Argent Dawn's fortnightly podcast. Today's episode is sponsored by the Steam Weedle Cartel, who are currently helping Andrago fight off the venture company right outside the studio. Seems like those Blackwind rifles are being put to good use. So sit yourself down and enjoy these four mooks blathering on and on for the next hour or so. Remember, boys, keep it short and sweet. Time is money. That was the intro back there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Horde News. Um, I was actually just right at, before I came to do the show right now, I was at the, uh, the Fishing Extravaganza, or Extravaganza by Adnor in Shadowprey Village in Dustless, which was quite fun because I took some screenshots of Peroy and the Rock Guard uh, all on a boat fishing. Uh, and it, it looked like a bit of fun. Uh, I didn't participate in it but, um, myself. Uh, the Spirit Wolves was there as well, and there were a lot of trolls, a lot of Forsaken 2, and there was some Lame La Laminous. Yeah, Laminous members there too. Other than that, uh, most Horde news comes to the Spino of Kalimdor, and the rest of the Horde news is basically just me. So, unless anyone wants to ask what I'm doing, that's not really great. Uh, Alliance news? Um, considering Andrigo sadly couldn't be here today, I was given the amazing task of doing the Alliance news. And honestly, I found bugger all, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. AA's been quiet, the Argent Dawn Forum's been quiet. It's, it's, I know I can't be everywhere in, in the world at once, so that I've probably missed many amazing things. But I literally don't know what's going on. So I assume everything is to do with the Spine of Calendor, because the amount of AA stuff that's been going back and forth between those fighting there, those not fighting there, those sticking up for people fighting there, those sticking up for people not fighting there, it's been slightly OTT. Uh, I could probably mention that the Eldritch Covenant has have been, as usual, having its gatherings at the Bob and the Lambs at 8 p.m. for Warlocks, just Warlocks. So if anyone's a Warlock and they want to go be doing Warlock things, uh, Slaughter Lamb, 8 p.m. occasionally. Just look at the forums. Now, Is he I... Warlock scum? I don't bother with. Yeah. Despite playing it, I'm dead. Never mind. Um. So, with that. Over. I forgot what's next on my own list. What, what? is next on my other own news. list? Other, other news. news. Other news. Have, other... We got anything, have, we, have we got anything on other news? Well, I well, well, I might as well mention it because he, I know he's broken his balls. Uh, he, <laughs> I feel like that is, that, that is that news. That is news. Yeah, Vincent breaking his balls. Literally, he had to go to the hospital. <laughs> 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 no, we're not going to let him live, live it down now. Uh, yeah. We Don't went, wear we jeans, went, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Really tight jeans. We went jeans, to start recording them. two hours ago prior to this, and then Vincent said, um, "I've I need to go to hospital um, because I've broken my balls." I mean, which rate, which caused a raised eyebrow between. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I bet someone, someone, please send us an email at Argent No Ratchet Radio EU. No, what is it? I forgot what the fuck. I'll get Ben to drop forget? a link in the website. I don't remember anything. But answer, answer on the postcard, please, people. If you if you know that reference, I salute you. If not, go watch ATS TV. It's amazing. Okay. Um, 
I was going to mention it anyway because I might as well. It's uh, Vin we were, if Vincent was here, we would probably talk extensively about uh, the Fallen Leaf, which is mainly the Guild Vincent's and so I might as well mention them in other news. Uh, the Fallen Leaf are currently at the moment uh, on their way up to the Northlands. Yar, not actually Northrend, it's just Lord Ron, or above the span if you want. Uh, they're in a couple of events. I don't know why they want to do that. They want to go to WPL, I think, or EPL, other one, uh, for those reasons. Anyway, yes, they're neutral, so uh, yeah. But they're mostly Pandaren, but if you are neutral and you happen to be Pandaren or not, but Alliance side, then you can probably join them if you want. Uh, they're a great bunch. I must, they, huh? Sorry, don't they have a half elf or something? Oh yeah, they do. They have a half elf called Jiru, um, which I don't like in character. Of course, I'll be racist. I mean, sort of. Uh, Scum. Yes, and then they also have like a highborn Amalath, uh, who's got a great roleplay set. If anyone is a highborn, I recommend copying his set entirely. Other than that, uh, not really. What's, yeah. What's the other half of his elf? Is he half elf, half human, or? Yeah, half elf, half human. Okay, I was going to say if it was half elf, half Pandar, and that'd be a bit, you know, that'd be like weird. interesting combo. Impossible. impossible. Yeah, that is exactly what it would be. Anything is possible with magic. <laughs> oh, God. Remember? Oh God! Actually, <laughs> it is that true. Again. It is true. Yeah. If, you, if you think about Rend, uh, Black Hand, no, no, uh, yeah, no, Black Hand's children, Rend and Main, they were uh, with demonic magic. They were. Forced into adulthood. Exactly. So. A yeah, ancient magic. That might help with um, my nightmare. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, it might help. Yeah, yeah. How, how, like that... how... Let's not mention them. That's other anyway, news. definitely other that's... news. I feel no, like that's should... not even news. That's not even that's what. No, that's that's just what uh, that's what that's what what therapy likes to do on his weekends. <laughs> <laughs> stay, up and, stay up until about eight o'clock in the morning, and then get us all worried that he's not here at four o'clock, two hours before the recording, and likes to scare everybody. Yeah. Uh, Scum. Yes, let's move on. Swiftly, please. <laughs> yeah, the next bit is Vincent interview, but Vincent isn't here. So, that means Nazgul. Na no, wait. Nazgul. 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 Not, not Nazgul. <laughs> oh. Shit, sorry. I should kill you in your sleep sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> please don't. Just for that mistake. No. Okay, Nazgul. Nazgul. <laughs> No. This is like how I can't say fool. I can't say uh, in F U L L. I say fool. Okay. okay, okay. Are you fool? Okay. <laughs> fool. <laughs> he's, he's I have a, a full glass of milk. He's a goblin dude. End of story. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Wait. What? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you should start by telling us about the Hearthstone tournament. I feel like that needs to be discussed a little bit. Yeah, okay, so um, I have an idea for the hot tournament, which I can try now. I actually want to take the experience to the mode. <laughs> well, I... You might have gone a tad quiet yeah, then. you did. Sorry, that's why I was laughing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh my god. I did hear, I did hear a bit of it. Now that's the problem with my mind. And then... There we go. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> what yeah, don't worry. If 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 you want, I can read out a bit of it. If um, if you just write it down, I can probably read it out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, get get the thread open just in case he bails. We'll, we'll take there over. There we go. Um, typing interlude. Somebody put on some really sad music. Really sad. <laughs> yeah, real sad music. I'll put some music. Here's some really bad music in the meantime. Uh, so it is. Here's something I need to ask you guys. Um, I once came across uh, a half elf, but it wasn't the ha any half elf you were thinking. It was a half Sindori, half Kaldori. That's so what kind of elf does that make? It's aberration. That's the kind of elf it makes. Totally. I mean, what kind of skin would it have? Would, I mean, and would it be fellow tainted? Would it be white? No. I mean, by the way, I, I this it. It was a, a night elf woman was pregnant with them, and I had to deliver them on one of my characters. First of all, awkward as hell. This is this is uh this is a, I'm, I'm interrupting here. This is uh this is my typing music. If you can hear it. Why? This is for, 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 yeah, just continue. Really quiet. Do you want us to cry? Yeah, typing. 
To be honest, I feel like crying after listening to your half Calderai, half Cinderai story. I'm not gonna lie. You should have killed killed the babies in there. I, I know. I, I, well, I sort of. I, it's not sort of in my character's interest not to kill them, because okay. that was my that was my character's best friend, and also I was named Godfather. So that was nice. Boy, wasn't that beautiful? That was beautiful. beautiful. I know. Beautiful. <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Totally. Wait, are we talking? Are we talking about the story or your or your weird music? The music in the background. Did you like that? Was it too loud? I couldn't hear it. it Can you? It, I could kind of it hear it. Techno. Does it does it, it beats dubstep and techno, but that way. Uh, it was actually the sad violin. The sad violin. Mm. Interesting. Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'll read this out if you want, or is anyone else wants to? Uh, no, you, you've got the voice act to the voice. You can do it. Oh, thanks for mentioning that. Okay, so oh, yeah, so okay. Yeah. Now, now, as Gil says that, um, I wanted to make the Hearthstone tournament for quite a while now, but originally had the plan of waiting until there was a spectator mode. Also, he uh, wanted to be the first to do it, and then when he saw there was a Horde side Hearthstone tournament, he just went nope, and now he's made it now. Very. Yep. That's good. Just like that. Thank you. Is anyone taking part in 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 this in this show? Is anyone at the radio station? Um, um, I'm going. I'm going as either Riggle or Marin. Um, I don't know if you want a female tour in there, just to be a bit weird. Because uh, that's so weird. Go, I probably go as Riggle, um, but I won't participate because I don't I don't play Hearthstone anymore. Um, well, everyone's allowed to go there. It's for both sides. I. I might attend and play, but I haven't played in so long. My deck is probably all mucked up, and I probably don't. I don't actually. I don't have any decent cards. You've probably gone the uh the at yeah, the beginning is beginners league. That's yep, you doing. can win. Yep, you can win. Oh wait, you can now win um, fifteen thousand gold. Yeah, fifteen thousand. Ooh. Yep. There are things but you could do with fifteen k. Yeah. There are many things league. you could do with fifteen k. But the veteran league price is so much better. Uh, yeah, yeah it, isn't it like fifty k or something? Eighty. Oh, That's so crazy. Much. I know. Yeah, someone sponsored fifty k because yeah. I could get Sky Golem. Promoted. <laughs> as as uh, would will you be doing in character betting and stuff? Is it going to be? Is it just going to be like in a mead hall and everyone can have fun and stuff? I'll probably do it in um, the inn. There's a plenty of tables I looked at, and now people can just. Uh, go. There we go. There we go. Just just began to slip into the the, the depths of being quiet again. I think it's when you talk for a long period of time, Nazgo, you kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's. that's <laughs> I don't know what's going wrong with uh, the stick. Just, just speak short bursts. Short bursts. <laughs> Like that. Tell yeah. you what. Tell you what we'll do. Okay. We'll play a game of yes. We'll play a game of yes or no. Okay. Is the event going to be fun? Yes. Can I win a nuclear weapon? No. Will Damn. I win the What's beginners the league? Past? Will Edrisil win the beginners league? Um, probably not. Oh well, that's that makes me feel so much better. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. If you're not taking part, if, it's, if even if you're not taking part, is it worth coming? Uh, I think it's worth coming because plenty of things to do. Yeah. yeah. Hope so at least. That's why I'm gonna go anyway. Are you taking part yourself? I might, but I'm not good. You just go. We, we we could do is be priest and at the end whip down Leroy Jenkins. Just own them. Uh, can what, you say again? What? You know, priest, and then whip down Leroy Jenkins at the end. That's how you do it. That's how I do it anyway. When I used to have him, yeah, it is. I I, yeah. I just like to unleash my ultimate light spawn on them. It's quite funny. Yeah, light well is the best. Okay, <laughs> that's half though. What class do you play in half Um, I usually go shaman. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, you're only saying that because you play Shaman yourself. Yeah, I know I do, but... <laughs> priest for the win, Priest for the win. Yeah, I agree with that. Priests priest are good as well. They but are you can good. use um, three decks. Exactly. So, 
Oh, that's yeah, true, yeah. That's interesting. It was shaman, a priest, and just something else. A warrior. Warriors are alright as well. Hunter. Mm. The, the one place... Yeah, hunters go for traps. The one place that I can't get my head around is the warlock. Yeah, I just, can't get my head around it. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I know. But the, I suppose the good thing about being a warlock is you get Jaraxxus. That's true. That's so That's, much worth. It, it, it's, it's worth losing so many times just to get yeah. Jaraxxus. Eridar, Lord of the Burgeoning Legion. <laughs> Eridar, Lord of the Trifling Gnome. Come on, man. Get it right. Get it right. Yeah, Sorry. On. You've heard the dubstep <laughs> read. Yeah, of course. Get it right. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mate, you obviously heard it. Yeah, I rock out, I rock out it by myself listening to the Jaraxxus. Ooh. I genuinely do. Shh, just stop. You're making it worse for yourself. Sorry. Um. Yeah. We'll link. We'll link one in the description below. Yeah. Because like, if you haven't watched that video, watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. Seriously, kill. Have to watch it. Kill also, yourself. Just to say to people listening, uh, when you hear there's brief interludes where suddenly everything seemingly cuts out, we've had reports that the Venture Co are trying to hack into the into the network. So at sometimes when we're trying to fight back, it gets a bit dodgy, and we kind of have to. Well, at least there's little breaks when you can't hear anything. So just yeah. what I'd say. Like now, quoting Jalbert when I was role playing him with Vincent uh, at the Bilgewater Hours, which nobody came to except for th um, me, Vincent, and him. Uh, we talked about how it's it, all the goddamn steamwheeled goblins and their traitors. Oh, damn steamwheeled goblins! You know how you, tell the, you know how you tell the difference between a steamwheeled goblin and a bilge water goblin. What? What's the difference? One of them's a disgusting scum of the earth that needs to be ridden out like the cancer it is. That was deep. It was, but not that much. Yep. Deep and vicious. Deep and vicious. Yep. And so. I'm quivering in my little plate boots. I've got to go D and D, didn't I? Oopsie. Got to go to the Am. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> so, I, I sadly, we don't think we can pro do a proper interview with Nazgil. No, actually, Nazgil. Nazgil. Before, before we, whatever. What <laughs> before, before we move on to bigger and better, th bigger and more interesting things other than yes or no answers. Um. Do you want to mention your little corner thing? Because, I mean, I've I've been on it to myself. I've looked at guild reviews and you, oh, as far stuff. as I remember, yeah. Um, do you want to maybe talk to us about that and how it came about? If you don't collapse of your microphone. Um. Yeah, I can try. But um, right now it's really. <laughs> it's already happened. Okay, you've already gone quiet. <laughs> you've already gone quiet. <laughs> Just short burst, yeah. <laughs> It was this. Yeah. Uh, then it was that. Then this. Do that. Then that. Yeah. Like. Exactly. Okay. 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 So I'll try. <laughs> so it's limited right now. What? What? <laughs> 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 so you can say it's just, you're just like singing in the chat like quiet. It's gone. Yeah. No point. Maybe I should. Maybe I should type it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you want. Go for, go for it. It's, it's interesting. I like this. <laughs> um. Adrasil, get your fucking. Get your fucking ever dawn, and I'll get Mikir and Tor, and we'll go do all these goblins. Yeah, I mean they're just these hackings are just not good. Yeah, I'm trying not to break the truce again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the amount of <laughs> times I've broken it in the last couple of weeks is just you know. Crazy. It's ridiculous, both of you, honestly. Just... Not even you don't even care. You're just like, oh, it's the truce. I've broken it. What, what, who are you gonna do? Throw me in the stockades? It's like. <laughs> It's like that, that, that doesn't exist. It's the blood thistle. It's gone to my the, head. The Forsaken, the Forsaken attacked us first. We actually only, the Forsaken attacked us at the Further Moon Stronghold. We were like uh, WTF, and then we just went and owned them I'm, because I'm, we are the Kieran Tor. Retaliation is not the answer. I'm pretty sure that both sides are going to be like, they attacked me first. No, they attacked us first. It's kind of like that. Yeah, that, that's the whole point. We both got off scot free. Hold on, I need to quote the good book. The big good book. What, the Bible? Oh, goodness. Yeah, what else? <laughs> good. Uh, okay, which one is it? Mm. Um, okay. Are Hold you... on. <sighs> okay, what? thou shall not kill, and... Um, okay, no graven images or like likenesses. 
What, what? Why is this relevant? So pretty much what you showed us earlier. Yeah, it, uh, too bad I break the commandment, one of the commandments every other day, just by saying, oh my god. Yeah. Um, That's pretty bad. Edrasil, hold off the bench, Co. I need to talk to me goblin friend. Okay. Okay, I'll read out what... So, no. Okay, fine. Oh, 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 you, you go, 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 go. Okay, I we'll said... Deal with goblins, go. Okay, uh, it, uh, okay, this is what Nazgul says. He says, it's pretty limited for now, with the only guild reviews and the RP stuff, which is basically my opinion about certain things that happen in roleplay, power play comes to mind. Uh, I might also do some things about the Elder Scrolls Online, which we'll see. And I also hope the Elder Scrolls Online is awful, and I don't want to play it personally. Ah, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> I would get it if, it if they didn't charge you an arm and a leg for it, just to get you started. How good, how good are we talking? Well, um, I've enjoyed it quite a lot right now. Alright, so, okay. w really wait, wait, what race are you? Um, I play Akashi. Oh, scum. Get lost. Oh, I want to play one as well, though. Is it fun? Is but, it, uh, it, the model's okay? It's okay and all, but um, my highest level character is a Breton. Alright, is it Breton? Yep. Breton? Okay, I forgive you. Valvin, Valvin's a Breton. I want to be a high elf. Scum. Scum. The earth. Scum. I might. Wow. See, I such don't. A scum. I, <laughs> I'm tempted to get it, but I don't know. Because I'm mixed. Uh, uh, it's, it's too expensive. I mean, it is very. I'll, I'll wait for it to fail and go free to play. Then again, I, I did spend thirty quid three times. You didn't. You honestly didn't buy Wars of the Journal three times, did you? I did. Yeah. How? Oh, you only had two. I thought you only had two accounts. I have three now. How? I'm a, uh, uh, oh my god. <sighs> Great. Fuck. Sorry. Then maybe you should get the Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, maybe I should get it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> the uh, nobody. I know no one who plays it other than you now. Uh, no, what? Because nobody in the clique plays it. Dr Dranek plays it. If you want to be a high elf. No, I don't want to be fucking high elf. I want to be Khajiit. I want to be a female Khajiit, like the one I based off in, in when I was playing Skyrim. The the one who's a massive shithead. We we wasn't a shithead. It was actually just she was um this tomboy, uh, stere sort of semi stereotypical woman for a Khajiit. So. You want to be a, a legit Khajiit? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even funny. Bad jokes are my forte. Oh, scabs. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm just I'm just gonna say this is the Argent Dawn podcast, not the Elder Scrolls Online podcast. Where did, where did we go make it? Wait, what's the city in? What's the city, What's the capital? What's a really good? What is the capital city? In one, what's one of the capital cities in the Elder Scrolls Online? Cyrodiil. We got Worm, Wormrest, Elder Root. I thought it was. Oh no, no, that's just the region, isn't it? Mornhold. Yeah, Mornhold. Uh, Windhelm. Windhelm no. is um, in the game. Windhelm is in we can, the game. We can, oh, it's cool! I want to go Windhelm. We can be Windhelm Wadio. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We'll be Windhelm Wadio. We'll be the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. We'll just be all Nords, just like you know, yelling things. I don't like Nords. Nords are boring. Yeah, there's. there's Nords, are not, Nords are only boring. You should all die. The Nords are cool. Nords are not as cool as Kaji, um, but there's something. I, again, <laughs> straying off topic of WoW slightly. Okay, okay sorry. We'll, we'll move back. <laughs> I think we should probably move to the spine of Kalimdor, seeing that a lot of people Sit have been radio. wanting to talk about. Okay, what? Well, go on. Ready? Uh, yeah. I, <clears throat> You're getting uh, way yes. too ahead of yourself with this. This, uh, yeah. this Windhelm Wadio thing. Windhelm Wadio. <laughs> <laughs> there is a reason why I've given you each specific titles on the on the thread with your jobs. Just, just have a have a look at yours later, Jack. Just have a look. Just have a look. Okay. Just have a look. Okay. I'm DJ. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're BJ. BJ. No, I said what the, DJ. What the What the hell is wrong with you? Did you just say VJ? VJ. No, I, he said DJ. VG. I am the king of VJ. DJ. If you, if you're really DJ. Asking. DJ. DJ. I'm DJ. Yeah. DJ. Oh, yes. I thought you said I thought you said BJ first, and then I thought you said thought you, thought you said yep. VJ. I tell you what. Oh though, my god. VJ is a great <laughs> nickname for vagina. Uh, I mean, I <laughs> mean. What? Part. No. No. Okay, this is really no. good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Maybe... No. We should. We okay, should. I'm, using, I'm using my divine right here. You shut up. Go in your corners, respectively. Go. Okay, I'm in my corners. <laughs> Sit in your corners. <laughs> Sit in your corners. It's, it's the venture code. They've Honestly. slipped something into my drink. I'm going crazy. 
Don't give me that rubbish, you high up, you right Oh my sit, god. Sit, sit, <laughs> sit, in, sit in that corner. I'm not, I'm not jakey. Alright then, fine. Go talk about whatever the spine of Calamdor. Alright, so. I have to come back. I need you for this segment. Okay, I'm coming I'm back. <laughs> so I feel, I feel as if how this is going to go is that you wanted me to talk first about Horde Side, didn't you? Yes. Right, so I'm going to talk about Horde Side. I have uh, participated in the Spine of Calamdor in the Black Jaw clan. Uh, I've also been there in um, as Edrisil, so I've been to Feralas, where the hot spot of fighting has been. Um, I'm following bridge. Yeah, the the almighty bridge, which has been fought over. Mm. Blood. I'm blown up twice. I'm blown up. Yeah. I'm blown Speaking up. of bridges, I'm going to go get some Oreos. So, okay. be right back. Right. <laughs> well, that <Yeah>. happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so talking talking about Spana Calendor, Um when I went on Edrisil, I had a little look around, and there was a lot going on. And I think, from a personal point of view, oh, what, what? Oh, sorry. We just we just got a random little uh, blip from the Venchco there. I didn't hear what you said. What did you say, Grandpa? You might have missed an event on WoW. No, I know about that. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know about that. That's fine. We'll just we'll just uh, we'll just. Um, concentrate on the Spina Kalimdor. Um Basically, from what I've seen on Edrisil, is that um, uh, there's a lot of people talking, no one knows what to do at the moment, or at least a lot of the RP is random. So that's been actually really, really good. Um, but obviously because there's no real leadership, I guess people kind of form their own councils and look to different people to kind of lead the way. Uh, I haven't seen enough of that in Feralus because I haven't been on Edrisil enough, to, at least not in Feralus, to see what's going on. But from what it looks like, um, you know, various leaders of different guilds are kind of taking control. Um, and obviously the Rock Guard are getting really stuck in. I've seen them fighting a lot, at least I've heard from both Alliance and Horde that, you know, they've been quite stuck in. So that's been really cool. Seven Kingdoms, one Empire. Um, I'm back on my Oreos, by the way. That that was oh, probably yeah. the best entrance I've ever heard. Nice, it's what they say. I also saw Peroy fishing. Uh, uh, uh oh, oh wait, no. Yeah, I saw Peroy fishing. If you, if you, sorry. Yeah, I heard. Per I, I saw Peroy fishing today. It was really funny. I took a screenshot. If anyone wants to see it, I'll put it in the forums. Okay. Well, <laughs> yes, you should do that. <laughs> I really like that idea. We can... He is the random host. He's got that title for a reason. Oh, I fucking love Oreos. Okay. Well, there we go. So, so Jakey loves Oreos, but um, right. So back to the Horde side of Spider Calendar. I asked a couple of people what they thought, um, and the collective message is promotes random roleplay. I suppose the bubble roleplay, which is fantastic, because Horde side needs that so badly. Random roleplay mm. is probably the best thing that you can get on Horde side, uh, especially with the oh, different yeah. cultures that's going on. It's fantastic. Um, and because I got told to kill myself when I told, I went up to the rock guard when they were fishing today on Marin, my Tauran female, and I said, it'd be really inconvenient if I stood on your boat, because they were on a boat, and then I toppled it over because I'm a Tauran, and then one of them turned around and just looked at me and said, if you do that, I'll wrap the wire of my fishing rod around your neck and fucking strangle you, and I was like, oh, okay then. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go pick daisies over this way. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I went and left. Uh -oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. What were you saying again before we were distracted yet again? Oh, well, I was just saying that um, the fact that there's a lack of leadership, at least, there's no one leading, so Perovicus and Oras and whoever started creating it, or at least came up with the idea, um, have basically, I guess they're not leading in a way, so they're leaving it up to the guilds to, to do as they please, to, to kind of find the battles where they are. Um, so I guess it presents a, an interesting sort of viewpoint, at least from the Horde side, um, at least from Edrisil's point of view. It's very dangerous because they don't want to break the truce and they don't want to start another war, especially in, in the position that they are in. Um, from the Blackjaw point of view, and, and as you know, a lot of people know the Blackjaw are, um, they're a clan who aren't part of the Horde. So a lot of the members feel as if they don't, or at least a lot of the icy viewpoint is that they don't really care if they start going around and killing Alliance uh, because that's on them as opposed to the Horde um, nor do they care if they start attacking Horde members who attack them because I know there's been a lot of drama with that um, 
So I guess in that way it's been great because you can do a lot of RP VP. RP PvP. Um, but otherwise, uh, I guess I guess it's just quite fun to have that sort of contestment, or I guess the the, the contesting sort of boundaries between the alliance and the horde, and it's, it seems it seems to be a lot of fun. Um, so I guess going to the alliance side, I'm going to talk about that. Fucking level is. Yeah, so the alliance side, uh, I've been there with Kieran to assault, been quite happy there. Breaking the treaty. Uh, oi. <laughs> You well, had your time first. You, you've had your time to speak. I'm fine. You just get to for me eating Oreos. No, I just won't get fat. It's fine. Um, I'm not fat. Really anyway, fat. um, we got um, yes. Yeah, so the Kieran Torres sort of been there. We got over there with the gnomes. Uh, we got there Friday, Thursday, Thursday before the campaign starts. That was good fun. Um, we've um, uh, Ed said you uh, you make you make alliances pretty quickly. We uh, formed alliance with the Clockwork Collective and the Pact of Ultrac. Pact of Ultrac subsequently uh, died within 24 hours of this pact being assigned. Didn't you say something really dumb on the forums about that? I'm going to go, go see if I can find it. Just continue and I'll bring it's, it up. Any, anything? I didn't say anything. I never. I don't say anything dumb on the forums. You do. What are you talking about? I'm gonna go find I'm, it. I'm gonna go find it, and then it's gonna all laugh at you because you're really, fu you're really dumb. Yeah. I think it's another pact of out, out, out track fed hon. Hey, you know Let's what? Keep talking. I find your high elf dumb, huh? Take that. All right, that's fine by me. Fight, fight me. Thanks. Thanks for the support, mate. It's appreciated. He's crying inside. Right, just yeah. Up. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Uh, um, yeah, I, I, uh, um, yeah. So um, we made alliance pretty quickly, and then it soon began that the rock guard attacked a night elf, and then the night elf went help, and then the rock guard attacked um, the rest of the people who came to help the night elf, and then there was there was a battle for about an hour and a half, obviously going back and forth into seven minute stronghold, and ended with ended with the siege at the horde town. I think it was Stonewall. Stonewall, yeah. The horde town, yeah, it ended in the siege of there for quite a while, and then some alliance orders uh, didn't want to siege this thing because it would involve killing civilians. So, going to assault one of those, we went we went back, and then the fighting continued for a bit more, and then. Yeah, and then we and then we tried. To, we've been trying to do some of the DM events for quite a while, but the horde in general have been quite relentless with their attacks. Meaning that a lot of the alliance forces in Feather Moon have been unable to go out and do the, some of the DM events they've been wanting to do. So, in some ways, that is the only downside of this campaign so far is the fact that we haven't. Some of us haven't been able to go out and do the DM events we signed up for. Can you not um, argue that that's? Potentially, why the campaign is actually so good because we don't have to rely on yeah. our playing, our playing, our playing, play. interesting, our playing, interesting, role playing by ourselves using DM defense. I'd also like to note that 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 Therathil's crunching in the background has just accentuated the points that you are making. Uh -huh. I, I feel like every crunch is at a precise moment when it needs to be emphasized. You know, I feel like it's a, it's really good. I'm I'm enjoying this. Ambience, ambience. But yeah, back to back to the point. I keep getting distracted. This is really bad. Um, yeah. So anyway, there's the um, there's there's the thing where it's good. It's good that you have so much random role play. I mean, it's good that you if you if you play by the correct rules, such as you have PvP on all the time, you don't know what's going around the corner. It's always safe to travel in pairs because it 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 gives you a sense of war. Uh, I mean, as as I mentioned earlier in the show, there's been things going forth on on AA back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it's interesting because the hordes don't see, the horde the horde aren't going for each other, whereas a lot of the alliance guilds, the guilds and Stormwind who are infamous uh, for things, and they are and they are attacking guilds there that have. That because their their argu their main argument appears to be if you're attacked you aren't allowed to defend yourself otherwise you're breaking the truce was what their main argument was to which a lot of people responded back no it isn't and I know that 
I know that some horde guilds have mentioned that the rock guard attack first, so there's already, there appears to be a bit of tension there that the rock guard are causing problems. Uh, so that's the rock guards. People, rock guards are people everyone loves to hate. So uh, Peroy and the rock guards keep up your work, keep being their people. Everyone wants to kill. Peroy and Douglas good. are fucking funny. I, I, actually, Douglas is probably the funniest person on the forums. It's it's just so funny. He, he nearly killed me once. Um, I nearly had to give Nazgul all my gold because he fucking made me laugh so much. If only uh, Nazgul, huh? Um, no. Hmm. Oh, I've got I've got a I've got to ask. Where the hell do you get some of these things from? We could be talking about one thing. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Um. All right, but no, this campaign's good. I mean, it's got another week to go. Uh, I, I imagine there'll be. I might. Well, oh, I imagine fuck. a Sorry. lot of guilds shit, will be going. Shit, shit. Oh. What have you done? Get, I get dropped me. my Oreo in the glass of milk. It's all soaking. This is no longer oh, Ratchet okay. Radio. This is this is this is the light. This is, this is now the light Oreo course. Radio. <laughs> Windhelm Radio. Oh God! Oh, can, so, can someone please make that the title of the video? Windhelm Radio. It has to be that. I just, <laughs> it has to. Be. It has to. Be. Oh, but we've also. Radio. Oh, radio, so, radio. Tell you what, we'll let Ben. We'll let Ben decide the title because he's not here. So he I thought we'd be calling it breaking your balls. Breaking your balls at, at Windhelm Radio. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. They have, but Windhelm Radio has to be. I don't know. I can just think. That's what happens. All right, so, I finished my Oreos. Okay, that's good. So, con okay. Um, anyway, for the third time starting, <laughs> we, let's go again. Again, the Spine of Kalimdor is a good event. It's one of the better events I've ever taken part in on AD. Uh, it's good in the fact that things are random, but it also there's also while it's good that players control the event, there needs to be some element of control over it because you I don't, don't like having to form. A yeah, so I mean, I don't like having to form a party to come save. Some Draenei shaman sorry behind when he gets constantly ganged by certain uh, horde guilds. Um, yeah, I don't like having to form parties to come save his sorry behind. You know the yeah. outer right. Oh shit! Oh sorry. Would you? Would you, what the uh, hell? Would, oh, can, can we just invest in a bleeper just for? You know the out. You know the outer right axiom. Yeah. Yes. They called Sophitia's Draenei the whore of the Nether. Why? Because I can't remember, but they did. It was really funny. That's such an interesting story. She's called <laughs> this for a reason unknown. <laughs> just like they just called her the whore of the Nether, and I'm like, whoa. Okay. Though again, what's this got to do with? Edit out that part. That's naming and shaming. Naming and shaming. You're gonna get banned. banned. You're gonna get banned. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. You're gonna get banned. No, I don't You'll think, get banned yeah. from the. I don't think You'll many get... people would mind actually if I, I got banned. As as co-executive of Windhelm Radio, I'm gonna have to kick you out. I'm sorry. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm gonna shout you apart now. Okay. Anyway, but I'm sorry. Again, Argent Dawn, I apologise. The randomness of uh, Therophil. This, this is why we don't get Edris or. Oh. Oh. So much. <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh, uh, -oh. uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, Grandpa, you can't say shit about me because you get disconnected. The Adventure Adventure Code just got you. Yeah. Have they? Yeah, they did. They interrupted you. They interrupted you. You said this is why we can't yep. put Aerophil and Edrasil, and then nothing. Um, how how long are we timing this? Well, this call's uh, been on for about thirty-six minutes, so I feel as if we're actually doing pretty well for once. Well, when did you jump? When asked because you got disconnected 30 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, that's we true. About I've been in the call for four hours. Yeah, but that's I've been in the call oh. just over an hour. I Take away 20 minutes. I've been talking for four hours? Jesus Christ. 40 minutes. I've been we'll say 40 minutes. You have no life. I seriously. I agree, I have no life. It's okay, four hours of talking to people. So back back to yeah. Argent Dawn as opposed to our. Yes, <laughs> back, back to Argent Dawn. Um, I, I feel as if it's necessary to, to say. This one last thing, though, on the spine of Calendor. There is an event coming up on the 20th. It is yes, the there brawl. is. It is the brawl. From what it looks like to me, and how much I do love PvP, this is looking really fucking cool. So This is effectively a free-for-all, and, and it crowns the winner, the victor guild of the entire thing. So I think it's winner-takes-all. But is it like one person or team? 
like that's why I want, is it a guild versus guild in the, in the arena or I I don't know I can not see that's the thing the good thing about Spider Calendar is it leaves it open yeah in a way I can't sometimes being vague is a bad thing but in the case of this it's quite good because it leaves it quite open to interpretation it looks interesting so just, it does I would uh, Kieran I won't be going there ourselves because we have our own sort of thing going on and yeah but we recommend going there uh, we also recommend going to Nazgil's if I said that correctly yeah, um, it's, it's fine let's just call him Naz Nazi yeah, yeah, yeah the fun. end man J Jazzy Nazi <laughs> Jazzy Nazi Jazzy, na yeah. Jazzy yeah, Nazi go to, I'm gonna roll go to Jazzy oh. Nazi's yeah go to Jazzy Nazi's um a Hearthstone tournament looks like it's going to be fun. Um, and I suspect there's something else I'm missing on my list of things to do. What, what date is that on, um, Jazzy Nazi? Really? What? What date is your Hearthstone tournament at, like, on? The... Wait, uh, my thoughts was the 26th. 26th, okay. yeah. Just to highlight to everyone, that's on the 26th. Saturday. So, yeah. And then we've got the 20th for the Sabrule, which is the end of the spine of Calendor. So I think you should, you guys, if you like PvP, do sign up, get involved. It looks great. It looks a lot of fun. And 22nd is back in, back in the past. And 20, yeah. Yeah, back, full of oh, back in the past. We've got to feature that. That's going to be for so much fun. Yeah, it's going to look good. For, the, for those Blood yes, Elves. We were talking about it earlier, but, so. Yeah, Blood Elves and High Elves can both get involved here. Oh, well, it's not even it Blood is, Elves. We're all High Elves. At this point, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, high elven role players now can get involved, and it's it's like it's the fall of Quell for us. It should be fun. Um, I don't think there's anything else for us to discuss, quite honestly. No, I think I think we've actually covered quite a lot of uh, material today uh, in terms of what we've got. I think I think there's a lot of stuff that's going on that seems really interesting in, in this April. Um, I'm just really happy that Spina Calendor is is happening um, and has happened. Because it's been really interesting just to see how people react in that sort of circumstance. And I mean, I mean, Spine of Calendar itself was was it was nearly cancelled because it it was going to happen, and then it wasn't, gonna, and then uh, sadly Greyland had to pull out. So and it looked like the whole thing was going to be for nothing. Wasn't that that, that but, was Calendar Heartland? That was it? the Heartland. That, yeah, but, but the it Spine of Calendar came from that. Yeah, from Spine of Calendar became Heartland. I think. Yeah, I wonder what yeah. happened to Greyland. Did he just quit? He has a life. Yeah, yeah he does have a life. God. A life a life in the lands of... A life of outliving. Yeah. Um, particularly, personally, and particularly, I don't like the campaign. I don't like how it's breaking the truce and we're all praising it for doing that. I mean, there's a truce going on, but I understand it's also skirmishes, but... Oh, it's, it's an iffy subject. It is an iffy subject. And but the thing, the thing, the thing about it is that it's good in the fact that it's getting people out in the world again. It gives it gives some guilds reason to RP because what what Blizzard have done is in I think in entirety of AD you can agree with me on this is they've they've screwed over a lot of RP guilds while waiting for Warlords because they've got nothing to do. I mean, in between Catter and uh, Mist that. People could fight each other uh, between Burning Crusade and uh, Rathalich King could fight each other, but now we can't. It's back and to vanilla. The fact that, oh yeah, it's back to vanilla where things are kind of like risky, like oh, are we fighting or are we not? The wars are kind of coming back, but nobody really knows. It's, I mean, I guess in vanilla we had all of the enemies still around, like Lich King. You know, stuff was still happening. Quelf last, uh, Kill Jane, Outland, Magtheridon, Illidan. These people were still alive, and. Uh, Back in vanilla, it was sort of like, are we fighting with each other, or are we fighting against a common goal, or whatever, sort of, you know, forward slash flail, that sort of situation. Um, and I think it's kind of similar, except I think vanilla is, was was very focused towards actually we can fight because it's, that's okay, because there's a lot of tension. But now there's an actual truce, you know, who's going to overstep that, or wh how far is it going to go? Is is Vol'jin willing to, to basically forgive those who have overstepped the I guess overstep their marks, or is he going to be, you know, someone who's going to punish, horde, I guess horde, war bands who attack alliance. What is he going to do? I don't think anybody knows. We don't know what because we're talking about. Because like. we're talking about the truce. Can I just think? Can I say, 
you know when Rathian says that um, he's annoyed that um, he says that uh, uh, he says uh, Anduin, uh, he says that Varenrin did what uh, he could have he could have ended it so easily. Sure, it would have taken a couple of years to siege Thunderbluff, but they would have won eventually. Uh, and then he said he'd take matters into his own hands. What do you what do you think he's doing? I don't know. Spoiler. Is he meant to be uh, neutral? What? He, he Rathian is a true neutral character. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, nice. I don't know why why he doesn't why I don't know he he doesn't want uh the factions fighting because of the burning legion. But he wants Basically. one of them one of them dead. I don't know why. I sus I because suspect they can be stronger than if there's no uh, opposition. Well, oh or yes, there's only one. The thing is though, I suspect he's got hidden agenda. I suspect he wants to. I suspect he wants the Titans and the best. And what's the best way to bring the Titans to Azeroth? Um, Turmoil. Yeah, exactly. Chaos, which is what the Titans are against. So, I think mean, Rathion, Rathion has is quite interesting to see. See how it. See how he turns out. Really. So he's going to buy War Crimes then. Uh, I, I, I tend. I tend to get the expansion bridging book. But I don't tend to get any of the others. I'm. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get War Crimes the book. It seems interesting actually because I'm. Yeah. The, the, the excerpt where it's the conversation between Hellscream, and um and Anduin where he compares himself to Arthas. That is, that's pretty. That I, that really got me hooked. I was. I really want to know. That's dark. It was dark. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So like some people are just Wait. born to do things that in certain ways. I, I I came up with a theory about Anduin actually. I I came up with thinking that in the when Anduin is like twenty, he goes back in time to the Second War. Um, at to to become and he changes his name to Arthas, and, and and then and then and then he always, and then because Jaina gave his hammer to Bane and Bane won't give it back now. No, Bane gave it back in Tides of War. No, he didn't. No, he, he did. doesn't. No, he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. He Just gave it to Jaina and then Jaina gave it back to him. No, he didn't. No, he, yes, oh he did. God, is this <laughs> really happening? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Okay, hold on. I'm actually. I will actually hold on. Hold on. Continue talking. I'm it actually... survives. It survives the bombing of Theramore, but she. But she doesn't give it back to Bane. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, just wait. Okay. Well, whilst whilst Therithil is finding the, uh, the 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 quote to prove Grandpa wrong, um, or prove me correct, or prove you correct. Yeah, that's true. What's it called? What's the hammer called? Fearbreaker. That's just a dumb shit name. Fearbreaker. The fact that I don't even know what it's called and you don't is slightly. I know it's in called favor. Bane's Hammer. It's it's called Fearbreaker. It's called Fearbreaker. Okay, maybe she did take it with her. Thank you. <laughs> Go home. Right, Fuck well, you. Thank you. Well, seeing that we've got that cleared up, um, I think War Crimes is going to look pretty cool. Um. And it'll be really interesting to see. Oh, it. it's, oh, no. it's gonna have Bane in it. I've seen if I like. War Crimes has got Velen in it, so that means Velen gets some love time before he's brutally killed off in the first five minutes of Warlords of Draenor. It's not him. Though. Still, he doesn't get killed. I know. It's it, it's, it's still it, alternative. It's all alternative Velen dies. All these eh? spoilers. Ah. Oh, oh yeah, my shit, god! Spoilers. So many spoilers. Why are you doing? <laughs> You're all this? spoiling it. Just, just. Oh, that's it. Sorry, nobody listened to that part. Oh crap! You have to it no, but it's <laughs> just delete but seriously that. though. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, they t they talk about how he's meant to be getting some law. Can can nope. I ask something as well? You know when it you know in a bit um you know in a oh, oh they they're, they're gonna have to do fillers so I can find this again. So blah, 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 uh, um do 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 do. Okay, you know okay do, do. The, uh, you know the bit when you know the bit in the uh the Wall of Dream tra trailer when Grom Hellscreen goes our our bond is iron our will unbreakable who will stand against us? Yeah. Why is it that the bit when they stand on top of the hill is got um why is Durotan with them? Uh, because he's technically one of the seven warlords. Yeah, but he's not he's not in the Iron Horde though. The reason why is because Blizzard uh, chose it to, to showcase uh, their new, cool looking new war chief people, chieftain. God. Yeah. And doesn't he break off? Or doesn't he break off? never joined. Shut up, Iron Horde. No, never joined. Goldar's not, 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 Gold not in it either, but he's there. Well, he is. But we're. No, Goldar's is. Oh, yeah. Goldar's is. Where was that? They're just uh, he's felt corrupted. 
how how because he because uh, kill Jaden's already kill J- the plan to get make the orcs under the corruptions was already there and Gul'dan was already doing it but Garrosh was like no what the hell are you doing and then stopped it but Gul'dan and his followers already done it and the Shadow Council is a faction in Walls of Draenor spoiler okay it's just not as influencing um, okay influencing. Uh, you know the bit in the trailer when that that female that female orc with the, with like the wolf pellet is fine that drain eye yeah is that is That's that supposed to be? Is that Draka? No. No, but what do you mean? It can't be. What do you mean, no? I doubt it. What do you be... mean, Dad? Why not? Why can't it be Draka? Because then that then that Draenei would most likely need a name as well. We could be. It could but, be. Yeah, but it, she's wearing the same hat as Duratan. Like yeah, it could be. Frost, 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 That's why I think it's Draka. I doubt it because I'm I'm sure the majority of Frost Wolves were that. Okay, well, why doesn't the community? How tell how us does Garrosh? Yeah. How does, how does Garrosh convince K. Roz to take him thirty five years into the past? Infinite Dragonfly, Old God's whispers. Is it? The Infinite Dragonfly is a minion to the Old Gods. Garrosh was indirectly a minion to the Old Gods during the siege when he absorbed the heart of Yesharaj. Link owned. I suspect. So, Keros is not a bronze dragon. No, he is. It's he's the beginning uh, with the death of the. Yeah, this is most likely the beginning of the infant. With the death of Suri Dormi, um, Nor's doom is most likely going to fall to his madness and corruption, creating Morazond. Oh my God, that is actually really good storytelling. If I just got my head around that, that is actually pretty fucking amazing. How- that is amazing. Yeah, you got to well, tip your hat to that. That is then. amazing! Holy shit! Oh my god, did they think of that during Cataclysm? At the end? No, no, they thought of this during when they decided to give the Horde another expansion. Yeah, that's true, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh! Uh, <Yay>. uh, <laughs> why would they do that? Why do they like the Horde so much? And I, I know I'm Horde myself, but for fuck's sake, I want to learn about fucking Dalen and. Culturas. That's because M- Mets and voices thrall. So he's it's... like, I know, let's make it horde everything. <laughs> Remember what I said? Did you see what I said in the new model thing? Yeah, I, I said that. So. I said that slowly and slowly. <laughs> Our thrall is beginning to look like Chris Metzen. He is, <laughs> he's yeah. got the beard now. I think he is, <laughs> I yeah. like, soon, soon, he actually's gonna become him. Just one giant green Chris Metzen in the game. That's how it's gonna be. Wait. Here's something. Why is K. Roz also voiced by? Is what? Is it? Is it just a coincidence that Michael Bell voices K. Roz and Medivh in Warcraft Three? A most likely coincidence. Because because they both attempt <sighs> to use the dark portal to harness the power of the Horde of Draenor to invade Azeroth. Yeah, it's a coincidence. Are you sure? If Blizzard pulled that off, then that would defeat the entire. That would get rid of Medivh's entire lore and the fact. And the fact who his father is, and stuff like that. You know, Christy Gold, Christy Gold made Carols. Yeah. Are you reading mm-hmm. them from Wildpedia? Maybe. <laughs> I yeah. so. Look, I don't know. I don't know. My law can only go so far. You can give me a law, qu- um, like a quiz or something about law. Look, I can I can do a story time with Grumper on this. It's not a problem. You just need to ask me. I think let the community decide. Should we do story time with Grumper and do some law things? I feel like that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, we can if you want. Yeah, so ne- if guys, next episode, if you want me to do some uh, story, want some story time with Grumper on Wallace of Dran, I'll just hit me up and I will do some. I bet I bet my. Uh, okay, well that. You bet your what? That sounds good, guys. I think. Um, I, th- I think we should def- I I personally would love to have story time because you know when I was a kid I'd lie in bed and my granddad would come and tell me a story and I love stories. Uh I hope you guys like stories and don't don't start with the pedo stuff. I know I feel it on the on the tip of your tongue you're going to say something. No? Okay, well, no. I'm, ju- I'm just paranoid. She's not freaking gross. What's wrong with you? Sorry. We're not but... there in disguise. Yeah, we're not Mm. Okay, the tone is lowered. The tone is lowered. We should move on quick. Um, yep. 
do we do you have anything else to talk about? Uh, Wait, say that again, say that again, we just got an interruption from uh, the Venture Co. Fucking, I said, should we, uh, uh, should we spend a minute in silence for Cloud Gazer? I think it is, was it Red Horn? Well, I, 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 no, 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 wait, is it, uh, okay, yeah, it is Cloud Hoof. Is... I'm gonna I'm gonna be silent for Cloud Hoof. Is, is is something happened? Rest in peace. Sorry, it's actually something happened. Hmm? Is this yeah, something remember, actually happened? Remember Cloud Hoof, he died. What, IRL or No Tesco Tesco's son. Tesco? Who? Some some walker Tesco. Desco. Desco. Oh yeah, my Tesco. god. Why, why I thought why are we talking so about the supermarket right now or no, because <laughs> okay, look, look, okay, it's a joke. The voice actor is it? Is different. Look, I made a joke about uh, Desco that because his name sounds like Tesco, so I called him someone called Tesco. I said, should we spend a minute in silence for Cloud Hoof, Des Desco's son, who got you know crushed in in this by Mogu? Yeah. What in, in the little baby thing? Yeah, yeah the in, baby torn in the swaddling cloth outside the shrine of two means. Mm. Yeah, one of the twins. One of the twins is poisoned. Oh, why does Blizzard always have to make fucking Torn get owned in every single short story they make? It's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> Everyone you love dies. Isn't dead. He's gonna die though. Yes. Down in the book. <laughs> yes. Down in the book. Down in the book. Down no, it's he's, he's, he's left hanging. He died in the book. You cannot. Why are we spoiling? Five. Why are we spoiling? I I think we need to put a spoiler so thing on. I didn't even read the book. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I, 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 I. Just shut up. There is no, you just spoiled it. So I think much. we should stop, Ross. I'm gonna spoil, spoil some more. I think it's been a bit more. Uh, it's like an hour now. I shouldn't have mentioned Game of Thrones. This makes me. Cry. You know, yeah, to be honest. You know Nala. <laughs> no, Nala. stop, 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 stop. Are we talking about Nala <laughs> from The Lion King? No, 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 no. I'm talking about Nala, as in the pan and the torn. No, I don't. No, don't know Nala. Okay, Nala is basically one of the daughters. She's a midwife, and she uh, give uh, helps give birth to um, Laser's children. Uh, and he's also like the second in command of the um, Dawn Chaser people. Anyway, I just find it funny that um, Nala mm -hmm. looks exactly like Marin. Oh, really? Yeah, nearly the same. By cool. the way, do art of Marin if anyone wants, cool. please. Cool story, bro. All right, I'm done. Okay, sweet. Well, I feel like I feel like we've talked a lot, so maybe what what should we what should we do? Should we head to the? Head to the uh, to... I, th I think we should head to the goodbyes, yeah. and uh, I think we sh I think I should go shank, uh, Marin over here, for being so random this entire episode, right. and yeah. being on taking us into completely random oh, topics. Thank you. Why do you want to the party? Why does... Can I just ask before we go? Yes? Sure. Okay, why do, the ogre, why do the new ogres have a dildo on their head? Good question. You should see what I mean! <laughs> Finally! Someone else sees it! Thank God! Look at it though! It's a dildo! <laughs> it's, it is ridiculous! It's a dildo! I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it... has it, a smiley on it. It's true, it that's so it. true! What it Look is, at it! They took a rhino and just yeah. stuck it, like a rhino it's horn a and just... Dildo. It it's a dildo! It's a dildo! And just look at it um, closely, and you see it and like in a smiley. I, I, I don't like it. That's just weird. No, I don't like it. I'm happy with one that's modeled so far, apart from the new ogre one. That's that's the only one I'm not a fan of. Yeah, I don't like it. I can't believe they did that. But anyway, Fuck. anyway, there's a smiley on the horn, as uh, Nazgul says. Um, Lovely. We should, yeah, we should head to the. <laughs> 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 we just, I just noticed it. We just. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting so Look at it! Look at its face! <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, have you seen, um, um, Wild Krendel's thing when it's like, um, what are NPCs thinking? Yeah. Yeah, it's just the one, I just love it, I, I seriously could not stop laughing when he did the gnome, and it's like, I will win the Super Soaker War! And then the next bit, it's just, it's like, the one of the statues in Ashara, with the giant mouths and the glowing eyes going, <laughs> I just can't stop okay. Again, so random. Sorry. Anyway, okay. guys, 
We're at, we're at the goodbyes part now. We can't. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I, I, I'm Zeratul Lightcross, your horde host. That- yep, yeah, I'm Grumper, and I'm your neutral host. Who also was an alliance host because Ben sadly couldn't be with us. I'm I'm Edrisel Amazon, and I'm the backup host. <laughs> DJ and, I'm Nazgul. and I'm Nazgul. And I'm Nazgul. Nazgul. No, Nazgul. Nazgul. Flying black beast. <laughs> the flying I will kill you. Mordor. Mordor. I will kill you. <laughs> no, you won't. Frodo, don't wear the ring. <laughs> don't wear the ring, Frodo. Okay, S. Goodbye. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.